welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics so students today i'm going to show you a subtraction trick basically this is something which we do but i don't know why people do get confused so i'm going to show a very simple thing which you should do at the beginning of the question itself so once you do that then subtraction becomes a piece of cake walk okay for big and i'm going to show you like really big numbers as well but just to understand the trick let's start with a smaller one like 500 and when you subtract 81 from 500 how do you do this okay so here instead of 500 what you should do is you make this as 4 9 and the last digit will get subtracted from 10 that's it that's very very simple see anyways if you had done this in a normal method 500 minus 89 you would have done this only make this 10 cancel this 9 and this will become 4 okay it is just that when it comes to borrowing and doing one by one students get confused so instead of that do it in one shot you will literally reduce your confusion and you will be extremely sure about your answers because here you do not have to second guess okay so now you have over here is 10 minus 9 gets you 1 9 minus 8 gets you again 1 and 4 minus nothing because see at the hundreds place of your uh, second uh, number is 0 so 4 minus 0 will get you 4 so your final answer is 411 okay now let's do this one more time we cancel this becomes 6 this becomes 9 and this becomes 10 so 10 7 take from taken from 10 gets you 3 6 taken from 9 gets you again 3 2 taken from 6 gets you 4 so your final answer is 433 students if you're liking the way i'm explaining then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos also students in case you have any uh, friends or someone who is really having difficulty in subtraction or any other topic of mathematics you can definitely refer my channel to them it might be really helpful for someone who is facing difficulties in calculations okay so now next one we do this one so we have five nine nine and one zero so nine taken from ten you get one six taken from nine we get three 4 taken from 9 gets you 5 and 2 taken from 5 you get gets you 3. So your final answer is 3, 5, 3, 1 for this particular question. Students, I think now is the right time for all of you all to take a pause and try solving these big subtractions on your own so that you get the hang of this trick. And then if you want, you can scroll at the end of this video and check whether your answers are right or wrong. In case you are wrong, then you can definitely see what went wrong and in case you are right then i'm telling you your confidence will really be get boosted by this kind of an exercise okay also don't forget at the end of this video i'm going to put up a diy question whose answers you can mention in the comment section but you should use the trick which i've shown over here to solve that question okay once you do that then you can definitely get confidence as well as you will be able to remember this trick while solving these your papers in your exam okay so now this will be 3 9 9 10 6 taken from 10 gets you 4 9 taken from 9 gets you 0 8 taken from 9 gets you 1 and 1 taken from 3 gets you 2 so your answer for this one is 2104 okay now next one we have over here is so now here I want you to pay a lot of attention. See what happens over here is your 4000 got reduced and you got what 3990 but here since there was a 0 we made it as 10. So here instead of 16000 we will do what 1, 5, 9, 9 and 10. Okay. I hope you all are getting it okay so now 10 1 taken from 10 gets you 9 9 taken from 9 gets you 0 0 taken from 9 gets you 9 and 12 taken from 15 gets you 3 okay now similarly over here 26,000 sorry 27,000 will lead to 26 9 9 and 
10. So now 1 taken from 10 gets you 9, 9 taken from 9 gets you 0, 8 taken from 9 gets you 1, 20, so 6, so 4 taken from 6 gets you 2 and 1 taken from 2 gets you 1. So in this case the final answer is 12,109. Okay. So now for this one what you should do uh, over here is we will do 9, 7, 9, 9 and 10. Okay. So now 6 taken from 10 gets you 4. 1 taken from 9 gets you 8. 0 taken from 9 gets you again 9. 7 taken from 7 gets you 0. And 9 will be written as it is. So your answer for this one is now 90,984. I am sure you all got the hang of this particular sub. So now time for your DIY. You let me know what is the answer of 4500. And when you subtract this from 3486. What is your answer? And do let me know your answers in the comment section. So that's it for today. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.